India is about to join the league of select advanced countries that are developing quantum technology for secure communication. Kuno Labs, a Bangalore-based startup, will provide Indian military quantum key distribution (QKD) technology, which is considered unhackable. Defence Secretary Dr. Ajay Kumar has termed the event as a befitting success story of Atmanirbhar Bharat because Kuno Labs has developed the technology indigenously. Let us look at what QKD is, how it works, and why India needs to develop it quickly. After successful trials, Indian Army is issuing request for proposal to Kuno Labs for procurement of QKD systems. India joins the US, Canada, China and a few European countries which are developing QKD for strategic and commercial uses. The QKD project was curated by Innovation for Defence Excellence IDEX and Defence Innovation Organisation DIO. Launched in April 2018, IDEX is a defence tech incubator that aims to achieve self-reliance and foster innovation. Kuno Labs had won an open challenge launched by IDEX. In February this year, DRDO and IIT Delhi demonstrated a QKD link between Prayagraj and Vindhyachal in Uttar Pradesh, a distance of more than 100 kilometers. QKD may sound like just another esoteric tech, but its application has far-reaching implications for everyone. That's why many countries are rushing to build QKD for both military and civil uses. QKD is a data encryption technology based on quantum mechanics as opposed to the existing encryption technologies which are based on mathematics. As power of computing rises, existing data encryption methods based on complex mathematical calculations will not remain as secure. QKD is so-called because it encrypts data in quantum states. Roughly speaking, an unknown quantum state gets disturbed when it is measured. QKD uses this principle to secure communication between two parties from malicious third-party eavesdropping. For two parties to communicate securely, QKD produces a shared random key which is used to encrypt and decrypt messages. QKD encodes each bit of the key on a single photon, a particle of light, transmitted through optical fiber. If a third party tries to eavesdrop, it must measure the key in some way. Any attempt to measure the photons alters their encoding, and that alters the key, alerting the two parties to the anomaly. According to Toshiba, a market leader in QKD, unlike other existing security solutions, QKD is secure from all future advances in mathematics and computing, including the data processing power of a quantum computer. Though any country would want to have the latest technology for its defense systems, the one-word answer to the question of why India needs it so much is China. While India has demonstrable capacity for QKD linkage over a distance of 100 kilometers, China claims to have built a QKD network spanning 4,600 kilometers, the longest in the world, which includes a link between Shanghai and Beijing. Since QKD works the best through fiber optic transmission, it needs elaborate physical infrastructure. Even that has limits because signals attenuate over long-distance transmission. Free space transmission through satellites is an option, though that too has its challenges as photons are sensitive to light. Satellite transmission does not rule out attenuation of signal. It is at an initial stage of development, but China is leading this effort. Last month, China's Legion Quick Response rocket carried to space a satellite that will conduct QKD experiments in low Earth orbit. In 2016, China launched the world's first QKD satellite Moji and achieved QKD transmission between two ground stations 2,600 km apart. Thanks to Moji, free space QKD transmission is part of China's Beijing-Shanghai network. Such a large QKD network is not possible with optical fiber cables. Moji also plays critical role in China's public infrastructure. China's electricity grid, the largest in the world, is secured with free space QKD technology through Moji. It's plain to see that a China protected by QKD technology would not need a war to defeat an India. 
that has just conventional protection for its communication systems. A series of cyber attacks can disable India to the extent that it would not remain able to fight effectively. India too has demonstrated free space QKD capacity, but it just does not compare with China. Last year, Indian Space Research Organization demonstrated free space QKD communication over a distance of just 300 meters. China claims to have that capacity for thousands of kilometers. The transmission was demonstrated at Space Applications Center, Ahmedabad, between two line-of-sight buildings on the campus. If you believe China's claims and compare them to India's achievements, India has a long way to go.